participation. That's it. Full crowd participation. I hear a lot of times like, oh, we need this, oh, we need that. For example, in Michigan, we um, hear a lot, oh, we should get together and form a support group. But we did that. A friend of mine and I, we got together and formed a support group, Sick of Strong Empowerment Circle in Detroit, Michigan. And we do little things here and there, but it's hard to get full crowd participation. Okay, it's here. You want it, you ask for it, we're trying to provide it. You're not coming out. You're not coming out to meetings. You only maybe come out every once in a while to some events. But they'll, you know, just folks kind of trickle into that. But it's like, what do you, you say you want it, we're providing it. Just, just stop saying you want stuff you don't really want it. If you want it, we provide it. Participate. That's all. We need real crowd participation. And maybe this disease can get further than what it has already. The unity. Um, because I feel like um, we need awareness in the community. I feel we would be much further if as a community we we'll come together just to agree and move forward in our treatment and our care. Um, I understand everyone has their own opinions and their own beliefs and how they go about life, but I feel like unity is definitely something we need in the community. The thing that I feel is most needed in the sickle cell community one of the most biggest and important things to me is support understanding and awareness that is what i feel the social cell community needs because with support we can go a long way mm -hmm. they should support us just like they're supporting somebody with cancer aids or anything else mm -hmm. awareness if we had awareness you know people could understand where we are coming from mm -hmm. and what we go through sometimes and it could also help with the support as well understanding understanding i say because most doctors and i say it most and i mean most when i say it see us as drug seekers and they feel like we just want some pain medicine or we just own drugs but do you feel that way about a cancer patient or AIDS patient why it have to be a person with sickle cell that you feel that way about and it's like we have no support because it's an african-american disease so i feel like those three things are the most needed things support awareness and understanding